Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here, and I thought I'd just do a quick weekend reading. So it's, it'll be a general reading for everyone, but I'll just put a couple of oracle cards for the signs. So we'll do um, fire, air, water, earth. Just a love one. Fire, air, water, earth. I think actually I might just do one more. I hope everyone's well. Fire, air, water, earth. Actually, I might read these ones now before I get into the actual tarot. So it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Fire, what do you have to look forward to hopefully this weekend? Eight of action, there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time. Even if life feels challenging, if you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. So obviously a lot of people can't fly and um, travel, but I think what this means is, you know, if there's an opportunity out there, take it with open arms. I think, you know, with COVID, we need to, um, you know, make changes and do things that are a little bit different. Step out of the box. But there's a lot going on for you, fire signs. But eight's a good number. For me, eight's about money. and um, Wow, karmic completion. Something ending for you guys. Uh, karmic cycles ending, um, relationships maybe um, coming to a close, um, karmic completion, I love this, because something that's not working, isn't serving you, is um, leaving your life, and that can only be a, ble a blessing, and your love oracle is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, so this could be the karmic completion, letting go of maybe the past, letting go of an ex, letting go of those issues, those control issues, so that cycle can finally end, and we like that, so ear signs, what do you need to know? I'll do this one first. Creativity and abundance. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into your fullness of who you are. It's a time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects and becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm an air sign, so I love that. So guys, if you have a talent, you know, maybe it's time to make that talent into a business or some kind of venture. Um, wow, completion, another card of endings, and I think maybe that's what's going on. Completion, guys, it's over, something's, you know, something's finished, and I think that's just absolutely amazing, I love that. Express your love, go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Um, if you like someone, tell them, let them know. You know, don't be afraid. Life's short and I think it's time that you actually got some confidence. Water signs. Eight of abundance. That's interesting. So we had two lots of eight. So eight significant for someone in this group or eight, eight, eight or eight, eight. Check those uh, numbers out, please, guys. Um, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take uh, seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the detail. Monitor your projects carefully. Wow, this is lovely. Um, we've been watching quite a few documentaries, and we've been watching debates and with the elections in different countries. Are really important to educate yourself water signs really important and you know with COVID it's retraining and moving into a new position actually could just to change the course of your life you could meet someone new there lots of things wow beautiful self-love wow yeah so important to love yourself to nurture yourself to put yourself first 
water signs. And your love oracle very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. New love's coming in, guys. New love will come in as soon as you um, start self-love. Very soon. So that's neat. So, last but not least, earth signs. Healer of thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of things that clutter your space or make you disorientated. People who can take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful and caring. This is a wonderful, with a wonderful sense of humour and offers a lot of life experiences. This is lovely. I mean, I've done a lot of decluttering lately. It's been a great time to do that. Um, you know, don't throw things out unless, of course, they're broken. Take them to secondhand stores or hospice or any store, whatever, um, Goodwill or whatever country you're in. It's important um, because someone could sell it and raise money for something, you know. So um, your oracle is moderation. Everything in moderation. Alcohol, love, everything. I don't know why I said alcohol, but guys, you know, less is more and just, you know, enjoy life. But just, yeah, there's a message for someone just to slow down a bit. And retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So that could be related to the moderation. Slow down, it's time to slow down a bit. Don't be so focused. Sometimes when you um, stop focusing on something like finding love, you often find it. Let the universe, you know, put you in the path of that, that person that's destined for you. Yeah. So, what do we need to know, guys? What do we need to know? What is happening? What is happening for us? The collective, for everyone. For everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Okay. Hopefully we've got some good messages coming out. Oh, Ten of Swords reversed. It's reversed. That's better. Um, ten of Swords obviously is a heavy energy, um, being stabbed in the back, not once, twice, ten times, you know, just who stabbed someone in the back, a karmic stabbed someone in the back, um, yeah, I won't, I'll try not to swear, um, just a horrible person, just a jealous, bitter, horrible person, um, you're coming out of that, it's in the past, and that's a really good thing, could be dealing with an ear sign, you could be an air sign, doesn't matter. It's just the energy, I just of someone, just a piece of shit, really. Yeah, just a karmic. Um, Queen of Swords reverse. So there we go. That could be the the person that that did it. Queen of Swords reversed, because it's a general reading. Could be a guy, but it is the the female energy here. Um, she's bitter. She's nasty. She's she's ruthless. She'll stab you in the back ten times. So are you dealing with a bit of bitch, maybe an air sign, maybe, maybe, let's see, so is that the energy for the weekend, um, recovering from dealing with this person, recovery from dealing with this person, that's what I hope, yeah, the emperor, could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with um, someone in authority, a father figure, an uncle, a, a judge, a lawyer, someone in a position of power. Maybe there's a judgment call on this person coming up that did you wrong in the past. Nine of Swords, a lot of air energy in this reading. Sleepless nights, someone's worried about being judged from something they've done in the past. That could be really weighing on this person's mind. Ooh. Or even I get the energy that um, this could be someone around you facing a judgment on something they did. Maybe not to you, but someone else. Mm. Oh, Prince of Wands reverse. So that's sorry, that's that fire sign energy. Um, someone rushing and doing something stupid, and it was just a big mistake. Someone made a huge mistake and it's really costing them. It's costing them mentally, physically. We'll see if it's costing them financially, but they are just in turmoil. They did something so stupid. 
um, it's almost like they might have met their match with the Queen of Swords. You know, the, the Prince of Wands, you don't want to deal with this person. They'll cheat on you. They'll, you know, put you in third-party situations. They're not nice. They rush into things, not thinking. Um, and they think that they're the king, but they're not. They're the prince. And, and you know, this person might have unfortunately met their match in the Queen of Swords. Which probably was part of their karma. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, there we go. Princess of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Someone's met their match and it really costs someone. I think there's lies being told here. You know, the liar gets lied to. The liar gets lied to. The liar gets played. And with the Ten of Swords, the person that normally stabs you in the back got stabbed in the back with their own game. You know, it's really weird. And it's cost financially, and they might be under judgment because of it. Sleepless nights. Someone can't sleep. Someone's really, really stressed. But it's almost like there'll be a decision made in two months or three months. There'll be a decision made on something. Just looking at where the placement of those swords are, there will be a outcome in two or three months. Hierophant. So this could be someone that was in a relationship. It could be a toxic breakup or um, it could be the court system. It's about, um, you know, the Hierophant is about tradition and wow. Look at the lamb there. It was like this person was like a lamb to the slaughter. I almost feel you know this person. And they met someone that did to them what they do to everyone else. King of Pentacles, someone stable, someone maybe that has their own business, someone that's honest, someone that's you know can be quite generous. I think I feel that that generosity, Prince of Pentacles, an offer, maybe an offer coming in for you guys on on it because these are like. This will be the main feature, and these are like some side messages. There is almost like there will be an offer coming in, a financial offer. So someone might um, uh, meet someone, or someone might um, get offered a job, or there might just be a new love coming in uh, on a side note from what's going on. Lovers, there we go. There's the love offer coming in. It's a solid with the King of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, and the lovers, there is a solid offer coming in. So there's a few stories here. But it's a general reading for everyone. Um, there could be a court situation for someone and they've got sleepless nights over it. It could be something to do with a marriage. It could be a divorce. It could be a separation. It could be an agreement. Um, it could be some other legality because of a toxic relationship. There might not have been a marriage involved, but you could have been married to this person. But someone has a new offer coming in. It's really stable. And there we go. Four of Wands. A new love's coming in after probably a lot of toxic energy here. Four of Wands. Nice. Five of Wands reversed. Perfect. See, th these heavy energies are reversed because that's in the past. So the past is finally being completed. Is that... This is, this is what this whole reading is. I think there's a karmic completion here. Something quite toxic and really heavy that weighed on your mind is now weighing on someone else's mind. Nine, ten. All you need is the eight of swords. You know, I mean, it weighed on your mind and now it's weighing on someone else's mind. I think someone's made a poor choice. Probably part of their karma. Princess of Cups reversed, yeah, there's, someone's not doing well emotionally, there's, someone's not very stable. Prince of Swords, there might be some stalking as well, what's going on guys? Oh, look at all this young energy reversed, 
Princess of Wands, Prince of Swords reversed, Princess of Wands. I mean, there's a lot of really, Princess of Cups reversed. All this young, immature, petty energy reversed. It's almost like someone's making up. There's someone's making up a story and a scenario to affect a family because they're just, cr someone's crazy. Wow. There's such an immature energy here that there's, there's, I think there's a queen of swords, I think it's female, that has met someone and they didn't realise who this person was and that person didn't realise who they were. And there was a lot of lies being told by a lot of different people or a lot of involvement and a lot of gossiping and everyone was acting immature and no one was doing the right thing. And I think it's coming to light. Princess of Pentacle, you know, like it's almost like with these two reversed, you know, they're both dirty, dirty scoundrels, both promiscuous, both gross, karmic. There's just, it's like a karmic reading. And this is what this is about, a karmic completion, fire signs, and there's the fire energy there. For someone, you have a new love offer coming in. For someone, it's just um, nine of um, pentacles. It's, there's independence coming in. I don't even think we've got three of cups, celebration. There's a new love coming in. And at the bottom, a high priestess. Someone didn't use their intuition in this situation at all. This person was warned of who this one was. This one was warned about this one. None of them would listen because what they wanted to do, they were both in this energy. Hurt at all costs. Gossiping at all costs. Because there was a lot of jealousy, because there was the Nine of Pentacles, an independent person, independent woman. I think you're going to find out something about these, what's happening with these guys. I think there was something that, you know, maybe they moved in together quite fast. There's a saying. No one falls in love faster than a narcissist needing somewhere to live. You know, a red flag for people. If someone wants to move in with you straight away, that's a red flag. If they don't have their own home, um, there's a problem. If they want to get heavily involved very quickly, there's a problem. You know, I think the table turned on someone. The table has absolutely turned on someone. And now we're sat and being direct, guys. Karma's hitting someone really hard and they can't sleep. They regret what they did. They regret that third party situation. They regret ever getting involved with this Queen of Swords. They regret it. But it's too late. The damage is done. And for someone else, you know, or the same person, they will get their happy ever after. They will get their um, solid commitment. They will get someone who um, has their own business, has their own money, doesn't lie. I mean, this energy here is so immature. It's just lie after lie. It's just like pathological lying all the time just horrible it's horrible energy and it's you know it's this behavior is like prevalent you know you get it in readings and you see it all the time you know and it's so heartbreaking for people who want to find real love and all they get is is fake phony um just fake and phony karmics you know and sometimes you don't really want to learn that lesson but you're there to learn a lesson and and you know, the universe, unfortunately, sometimes throw you, throws you these curveballs. So, you know, but they will give you red flags so you can get out early enough that there's not a, a lot of damage done or minimal damage. But sometimes, you know, you, you don't get out on time and there's a lot of damage done. So, you know, but this reading is saying that the damage definitely was done, but you're healing from it. Someone's healing. And... A karma for this person is you get to watch all this unfold. There's something happening that involves someone in power. There might be an investigation or allegations. I feel like there's allegations of something coming up that you might hear about. 
and even with this you might hear about it um, in a really unexpected way like you might read about it somewhere anyway I might just do one more little spread because that was a bit heavier you know the thing is these people never want um, it, they never want you to find out that the table turned on them they always want to have smoke and mirrors and pretend that like everything is um, see the magician reverse that everything's good when it's really not because they don't want you to they don't want to hear you know I told you so and you probably told this person but anyway there's a lot of people out there that absolutely lose amazing relationships and amazing people for trash but that's their karma so what's just another quick spread that we can do for the collective Oh, the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful energy, another independent woman who's honest, who's reliable, who's her own business owner, beautiful, justice reversed, um, maybe something that's not balanced in her life, could be dealing with a Libra, an unjust, an unjust, the high priestess reverse intuition not being used or someone trying to hide the truth from this queen of pentacles maybe something might be coming out about something that was hidden and there's te that ten of swords again but it's reversed again so coming out of a lot of heartache so there's a clear message for someone that you know you're doing really well you're doing really well Someone didn't even, you know, I think I really feel like um, this this message is clarifying. You know, there was an injustice that happened. Someone didn't listen, and it's caused a, a you know a tower moment. King of Cups. Wow. Balance will be restored if you're with someone who was toxic. Someone new is coming in that is emotionally stable, that has something to offer you. The Hermit reversed. I think it's time that, you know, you know what's going on. I don't, I don't even think this person knew or knows what's about to hit them. And guess what? There's that Queen of Swords reversed again. So that energy is really strong. There's someone out there that's an absolute fucking bitch. She's a bitch. She's she was jealous of you she tried to rock your boat it's envy jealous and greed she was coveting that's what I feel oh my gosh this karma this this queen of swords was watching you she's not watching you now but she was watching you she was coveting you she wanted to be you this person probably tried to dye their hair the same color as you just to look like you Try to lose weight to be your size or try to wear clothes that you would wear. There's someone that would try to steal your life. Steal your life, steal your family. And did whatever they could to do it. Wow. More pentacles reversed. Eight of pentacles reversed. Financial loss for someone. Financial stagnation. And the lovers again so you know there is we've got a lot of the you know the same cards so there is new love coming in after a loss page of swords but this time upright so there was this person was watching you this person could still be watching you because they're jealous of you because of what's gone on they wanted to be you seven of wands reversed a lot of conflict four of swords reversed and the six of swords someone's moving on is that Queen of Wands reversed? Same person. And there's the King of Swords reversed. Someone was coveting you. Someone was jealous of you. There, you know, this really creepy energy in this reading or both of these readings. Um, yeah, I just get an absolute single white female vibe, like a movie. 
so um, you know I don't know whether the messages you were right they were watching you they were um, trying to be you you knew it um, but I think it's even deeper than that there's something else going on with the king of swords reversed as well and the justice reversed there's something that's going to come out that you don't uh, know yet or you Yeah, it's something from the past. Maybe there's some messages coming in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, someone didn't use their intuition, guys. So I'm just... Yeah, it's creepy when someone... You know, when people are jealous... Jealousy is a disease, and you know when people won't stop at anything to um, be someone else, and they don't care who they hurt on the way. That's horrible. It's just a horrible energy, completely horrible. But anyway, guys, I hope that helps. But I think that there's definitely new, new love on the horizon. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Earth sign. It doesn't matter. Whoever they are, um, they they'll be worth the wait. I think that's the biggest message. They'll be worth the wait. And you, you might get to see or hear of um, someone from the past that uh, got a, a real dose of their own medicine, basically. So take care, guys.